Hello peoples, Bubba Ace here, and welcome to the results of the second Ninja Warrior Roblox Rising Tournament, which was recorded sometime in the second half of 2021. I actually don't remember when it was filmed, but that's not important. Following the success of the previous tournament, the four-stage obstacle course has been redesigned with more difficult obstacles for the competitors to overcome. Just like the previous tournament, you only get to watch the full run of the one who finished in first place. Last tournament it was two runs, this tournament it's only one. The results of everyone else who ran this tournament will be shown at the end of each stage, and the spreadsheet of the result of this tournament will be in the description and pinned comment. If you're one of the peoples who ran this tournament, and want your run to be edited similarly to the one run in this video, then DM me on Discord. If you don't have a Discord, well, too bad for you, because I'm not accepting comments or Twitter DMs. And also, like the last tournament, the obstacles will be introduced and explained as they're about to be attempted. With all that said, I hope you enjoy. Before we actually see Stage 1 being attempted, let's hear what some of the challengers had to say about this stage. To be completely honest, um, there's a lot of obstacles I'm glad are gone from the old one. Um, because I generally like more challenging stage ones, I feel like that delivers uh, more. But I don't, I don't think it's like too difficult. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident I can get past this. But uh, gotta just stay focused and not make a simple mistake. I mean, I've only done, like, one run through, so I'm not really sure how I'll do, but I just felt like I probably should have done, I should have done the, uh, course because, yeah, I did it last time, but, yeah, I, I guess, I hope I get far, but I wouldn't be, I wouldn't care too much if I failed early. Next up is Beans, also known as Bowser Spice, it goes by Bowsy Pie nowadays, I think also in this tournament. Anyway, he's making his third appearance on the course, fourth if you count his bonus run in Tournament 21 of the OG era. Anyway, going quickly through the Lollipop Gill, which, didn't really get time to say it, but you just gotta jump on the, uh, Lollipops. And now onto the Saturn, which has been buffed, as you can see there's a bit of a barrier at the top, so you gotta get a precise jump to, uh, get over the hurdle. And now for the Shape Reflex, submitted by Gravitations, jump on different shapes, and the two rolling balls. Now on for the jungle boogie, which has also been buffed, as now there's a monkey bar you gotta jump onto, which is a tough jump. And the supports on the vines are a little bit wider, so it's... At least that part of the obstacle is easy. Now for the new obstacle, the blade runner, where you gotta jump on the spinning blade and avoid the hurdles that they will trip you if you touch them. And now for the panic cabin, which has also been buffed, um, there are fewer, um, truss supports at the bottom of the net, and it's placed further apart. But he still gets onto the... the far left side, and goes down the slide. Anyway, I was about to say, he cleared stage 1 in the last tournament, but failed the spider walk on stage 2. And... This is now happening. Alright mods, get in there and help him out. Are you for real right now? Can we at least come up with something original? <sighs> Fine. Carry on. I meant with the broadcast, stupid! <laughs> Sorry about that. Now before I was rudely interrupted, he's now onto the Yoga Ball, which was a Stage 2 obstacle in the last tournament, now it's been moved to Stage 1. But still the same before, you gotta push the Yoga up the hill, jump onto it, and then go for the climbing rocks. Now for the final new obstacle, Stage 1, the Escape Ladder, you just gotta climb up the ladder, where the steps uh, do spin, but that's no problem for Beans, or I guess Bowser, whatever. He's clear Stage 1 with 11.3 seconds left. So he's now cleared Stage 1 for two tournaments in a row. 
and looking to get revenge on stage two. Well, I hope for the best as well. And there he is, standing behind the gates of stage two. Once they open, he shall walk to the start line and wait for the lamps to light up before he begins his second ever attempt on stage two. He has 65 seconds to clear five brutal obstacles. Four of them are new, and two of them are completely new. One is a submission, another is an idea. We'll start with a domino effect. Four dominoes of varying size and length. Followed by a Dragon Glider, um, died. the idea by there for that was the Fluffy Tail 2011. Now he's on to the Spider Walk. He did fail this in the last tournament, so it's a reasonable thing why he's worried about this one. It was that and the Dominant Feather 2 where he was most worried about, as he said in his interview. Once he gets past that, he'll be on to the Paradigm Shit, which he's done. This was submitted by Adhesimo, also known as Papa Strawberry. Slide the pipe down the track, grab on the butterfly wall, spin it around, and dismount. Now he's onto the hoopla, where he's gotta jump onto the ring and push it, and then make a wraparound jump, and jump to make the dismount once at the right spot, which he 
does, and now he's onto the Meteor Vector, which is basically a rolling boulder, but with hurdles. He is allowed to touch the hurdles, but this is the more effective method for him, or at least when he's practiced, and he gets through the second stage with 14.2 seconds left, clearing the second stage for the first time in his Ninja Warrior Roblox career. He was most worried about the Domino Fed and Spirewalk, but he didn't have any trouble with either one. Except maybe, um, Fitz blown the Spirewalk, but it doesn't matter, because he's moving on to the third stage for the first time in his Ninja Warrior Roblox career. Well done, Bowser. Well, I admire his confidence, not that he's incapable of doing it. I mean, we have seen surprising results from Stage 3 newcomers in the past, but nevertheless, it's always nice to hear someone believing they can do it on what might be the hardest third stage on this course. And here he is again, about to take on the third stage. Five even more brutal obstacles stand in the way between him and that final stage tower. It's third stage, there will be three new obstacles, a new variation of the cliffhanger, and the final obstacle being modified. And he's going to do his little own um, <laughs> entrance up the stairs. But anyway, start with the first obstacle, the vortex. Two slowly spinning um, um, cylinders with um, small pegs. They spin the opposite direction, you can't ride them, otherwise you'll get caught by the hurdles that you'll meet along the way and they'll knock you off. As for these, you know, you just gotta make them carefully jump way around them and hang on because you can slip off of them and you gotta jump at the right spot, otherwise, um, you will, um, jump cut. Now he's on to the Sidewinder. <clears throat> Similar to the real life version, only this doesn't have a drop. And there are only three of them. And he's gonna do the cheese strat of this obstacle, which is to climb at the top and just, uh, um, let the bumpers out of on the top of those black lines to, you know, help him get around, rather than doing the way it was intended. I hope people are not taking notes, because you won't be able to try this strat, um, nowadays if you attempt the course. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be like, um, challenge accepted and try it anyway. But, I'm willing to s see you try. I like to see you try. Now he's onto the doorknob drop, another obstacle submission by Nail Dog. Yeah, to jump on the, um, doorknob, you can't be, um, get jump cut if you don't stand in the right spots, and of course I had those two uh, dropping doorknobs, which is why it's called the doorknob drop. Now he's on to the next incarnation of the cliffhanger, the Insanium cliffhanger. Those jump ledges, and now you have these two very um, slanted ledges where you gotta carefully jump. Now he reaches the ledges, or yellow ledges. You cannot jump while you're on the yellow ledges. If you do, you'll be disqualified. Now he's got this very small 360 jump, and then the wraparound jump has been made a little harder from the last time. And then finally, this angle jump. He catches on to it. And he's been the Insanium Cliffhanger. And now for the Pipe Hanger, which has been, um, but for the last tournament. <laughs> Off to a great start to this, um, modification already. He's already pushed the bar. Alright, that's it. That's the last time we're using this transition for Ninja War of Roblox. Next time we're coming up with something original. Anyway, proceeding, as, as I was saying, the chain for this obstacle are those two um, bumpers in the way. You gotta navigate your way through them, 
And then once you do, you still gotta get through the hard part of um, carefully maneuvering the pipe down the track. And then be quick because uh, if you uh, go too late, then the stoppers um, on that third set there will respawn on you and uh, you'll never get through the obstacle. And just like before, you have, you have to be facing forward, you can't do it sideways or um, backwards. Backwards has been the easiest way for most people to do it, but I told them they can't do it because it's designed to where there is a possibility of you climbing up that little um, support there that helps um, move the pipe. And he seems to have pushed the bar too far to the right as it's barely hanging onto the track, and the bar has been detached from the track, and he's fallen on the pipe hanger. He was doing fine up to that point, he successfully got past the bumpers and tried to straighten it out, but it looks like when he was getting near the end to that third track, he tried to move the bar to the right, but he moved it a little too hard, and thus when he made the drop, the bar barely hung onto the track, and he tried to straighten it up again, but then it derailed from the track. And that's the end of that. But well done getting this far, and finishing in first place. And with that, we've come to the end of this tournament. There were over 200 attempts on this course, and out of those 200 plus, 20 managed to clear this new Stage 1, and the new second stage deals some significant damage as only 7 competitors could get past it. But unfortunately, no one could get past this new Stage 3, and only one managed to reach the Pipe Anchor. Could things improve in the next tournament? You'll have to stay tuned to find out. It will be the final tournament of the rising era of Ninja Warrior of Roblox. Will it end in a similar way to the end of the OG era? Most likely not, but it's still one you don't want to miss. Stages 2 and 3 interviews will be in the Knee War Vault. Special thanks to those who contributed this tournament are on screen and in the description. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Until next time, ciao peoples.